This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and this is Division, my three pound combat robot that just competed at the August Norwalk Havoc event. I know this is being filmed in October, and I also already went to the September event with a new bot subtraction, but Division had also competed and I haven't gotten around to the recap before, so I'm getting this one out of the way quickly before I get on to subtraction. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when the most recent one comes out. Um, Division has been the design that I have fielded at almost every competition that I've been to since 2019. I have brought a couple different robots to competitions without Division there, like Mini Mulcher because it's a one pound ant weight, whereas this is a three pound beetle weight. But uh, Division has been at almost every single tournament that I have gone to since 2019. This design is definitely starting to show its age though. Division version three was built from the ground up for 2022 and it fought all the way through 2022 and 2023 now. So I think I'm gonna be retiring this version and trying to make a Division version four uh, moving on to 2024. But this was kind of the last hurrah for the 2023 version. So let's see how things went. Now, if you have seen my most recent event recap with SSP, you'll know that I fought Ratfish with SSP as my last fight of the day. But I also fought Ratfish with Division as my first fight of the day at the tournament. So let's see how that fight went right now. Right out of the gate, Ratfish gets a weird angle on me and manages to stick his fork kind of in between where my CPU fork mounts are and where the chassis sits. So. We were locked together for a few seconds here without either of us able to separate. Eventually though, we did manage to get apart, as you can see here. Now my goal here is obviously to hit big wheels or the soft area right in the back of Ratfish where he has the least protection for his internals. This was easier said than done given how easily he can turn. I did get a good pin in here though. I finally got the chance I was looking for in a shot on a wheel. And again here where he gets stuck under the wall seam. Good opportunity for hit there, but Ratfish easily flips over and negates that attack. Front to front, there's basically nothing I can do against him. Was awkward. At this point my weapon spin up is starting to get more sluggish and I realize I'm probably running out of battery. Ratfish gets stuck here and we are now both kind of stuck with him underneath me. Oh, oh, okay. 
45 seconds are left, but rather than letting me get counted out because I can no longer self-write, Ratfish brings me back into the fight. Division's able to get a good pin here, and I can run down the clock. At this point, my weapon can no longer spin up to full speed, but I do still have drive because I set a lower voltage cutoff on the drive than on the weapon. In this position, I can't self right, but there's only 9 seconds left, so Division doesn't get counted out, and I end the fight on my back. Scrape like the, the top of the battery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we were like a millimeter and a half lower, oh it would have been on fire. That's crazy. <laughs> the rest of the bot looks for the most part okay. Yeah. It took like a couple chunks out. That's a good pump there, and it went all the way through. Somehow, what is this material? SQHMW, a one millimeter carbon fiber, it barely scraped, but it took a chunk out here and took a chunk out there. Yeah, that's pretty weird. So I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Ratfish is designed very well to counter most robots, Division is no exception there, and he got an easy judge's decision win from that fight. I was realizing my battery issues were going to be back in a big way moving forward, so that was going to be a problem the rest of the day for sure. Now, because this was my first qualifying fight with Division and it entered as a challenger, that meant I had a second last chance qualifier fight. If I didn't win this one, I wasn't in the bracket, so this was a do or die moment. And my opponent was going to be one of the team Honeycracked bots. In this case, it is a multi brain spinner called Whirlwax. Let's see how this fight went. Five. The game plan's always the same for fighting horizontals hit them hard and hit them fast. There is a reason that Division's average fight time is only like 85 seconds long. That one was about 28 seconds, so pretty brutal there. If you want to introduce yourself to... Hi, I'm Cameron, driver of Rorwax on Team Honeycrack. Uh, this is kind of just the... This is Rorwax. It's a Melty Brain. This is its second competition as a Melty Brain. Uh, still a work in progress. It's going to be around for about two years, at least. Um, but here's kind of my inside compartments, so I've got where my batteries go in these slots, and then my uh, ESCs for my motors that go here. The motors are this special mount that I created that I put a flange bearing in there, and then pop that in, and this should go inside. That's cool. Around right there. Those slot in, and then the top slots on top of that. Um, and then I've got my LEDs and these four holes, there's two there, and then two on the top plate as well. And it's, that's really about it. Anything, any questions you want to ask? Any? How long have you spent on the code to make it actually translate? So, it's been kind of, it's, it's hard to describe, the last two weeks has been me pretty much coding this uh, getting everything working. The last, or Thursday, I reached out to the uh, Melty Brain Discord server and asked them, like, hey, something's wrong with my code, what's going up? And they said, the library that I'm using is bugged. We've got that fixed. Everything works now. I also did some extra calibration stuff to make sure that the accelerometers work better. Um, so if you do want to get into Melty Brains, totally ask the Melty Brain server. Everyone there is super nice, and they've been doing it for a while. Uh, last competition, it was a single accelerometer. It wasn't too great. Some things were off and not working, but now that it's better, I've had the next, 
over the past seven weeks, I've improved the design, both mechanically and programmingly, and I'm happy with it. And awesome. I just, I'm super excited to keep continuing working on War Wax after this competition and, and years later. Awesome. Yeah. Best of luck. Yeah. I'm sure our fight will be pretty intense. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> With that win over Whirlwax, I was now seated into the first round of the bracket, and my first opponent was going to be one of the four-wheel drive vertical spinners. Guess which one? I know, it's hard because there's so many of them. Uh, this one was Absolute Zero, the blue one. Uh, it's a dual-disc vertical spinner, four-wheel drive, and it looked pretty mean, but I hadn't really seen it fight before, and apparently the guys said that they were having some drive issues in their first fight, but... I usually don't do very well against small diameter vertical spinners with division, so I was still pretty nervous going into this fight. The hit em hard and hit em fast routine makes a reappearance here, really catching my opponent off guard. And he was also caught off guard by just how fast division is in general. I was able to kind of stay on him. The one advantage that Division has against these dual disc spinner bots is that if I hit straight down the middle, I can usually outreach their blade and just make contact with their weapon hub, and I think that's what happened in that first exchange. You can see Absolute Zero has some serious drive struggles for pretty much this entire fight. Normally when my opponent is damaged like this I would hold back, but knowing the battery life issues that I've been having, I really want to end this fight. At this point I realize, ah uh, crap, I'm not getting enough current to self right again. This fight ended up just being judged as a double knockout, and that meant it went to the judges, which awarded Division the win. E. Kinda scraping by by the skin of my teeth on that one. Part of the reason I suspected that I was having so many issues with battery life in this event was that back in July when I was at the open source event, I had all of my stuff packed up and left at the venue to then get brought back to NHRL where it was going to sit for me for the entire time until I showed up in August to actually fight with it. So. My batteries for Division, it turned out, had sat fully charged for over a month, which is very bad for LiPo batteries generally, and I was scared that this had reduced their capacity somewhat. So I was able to go to the Chainsaw Kitty team, who are using the same batteries as me, and buy one off of them to put in the bot for this next fight, which was going to be against an overhead saw robot built by one of Sawblaze team members, Dragonfruit. So this is what I'm going to do against Dragonfruit. I just added as much foam as I could to still be under the weight limit after removing one of the hinged forks. Because I'd rather not him saw through the battery and light the whole robot on fire. <laughs> but it's probably still going to be pretty janky. If my weapon stops, I'm probably screwed. And these batteries are not giving me hope. You'll probably hear my older brother Michael screaming excitedly in a lot of the background of this. Right out of the gate, we lock horns, and it looks like his saw is positioned in such a way that he won't quite hit anything important, but he also probably won't quite get it minced off by my blade either. got a good hit in there. I'm really going for those wheels though. Gotta find a way to capitalize on this. 
Now we're talking. Again, I really want to end this before my battery runs out if I can. To be honest, I haven't the slightest idea what just flew off there. One wheel down, one to go! Yeah! At this point, I've broken both of the belts that were driving either side of the saw blade, so that saw can no longer spin. But it still has sort of functioning drive and a functioning arm. Yes, yes, right there. And with 40 seconds left, we are in trouble. No. No, so the way that NHRL works, in every fight, you are allowed an unstick. When you call for an unstick, there is a 30 second timer for your bot to get unstuck. So I called for my unstick with just under 40 seconds to go, which meant that the unstick timer would run down for 30 seconds, and then I just barely, in theory, would avoid getting counted out, especially if I could actually get back on my wheels. There were some problems right after this fight ended, though, where even though the referee called this as a judge's decision, it was entered into the bracket as a KO loss for division. But eventually we went and got that sorted out. So after about 10 or 15 minutes with both myself and Eli, the driver and builder of Dragonfruit, trying to talk to the front desk to figure out what happened with the bracket. Eventually they did actually get the judges to review the footage and Division scraped by with another narrow judges decision victory. I haven't seen the scorecards from this, but I imagine it was probably reasonably close since Division was basically completely disabled at the end of the fight and Dragonfruit still had one wheel drive, but I had destroyed their saw mechanism, so you know, I think I definitely won on damage uh, based on what you could see happening during most of the fight, though. My next fight was going to be a very interesting matchup because I was going to be fighting one of my very undesigned SSP kit robots, which you can buy at JustGoesRobotics.com. Uh, the SSP kit is built to survive three minutes against the most devastating spinners in the game. And with Division barely working at this point, past about a minute into a fight, I knew I was going to have to ramp my weapon down to below half speed to be able to run the full three minutes. So I was already fighting with a handicap, and not to make it any easier for myself, the kid driving this bot, while he was a relatively new driver, had been pushing around beater bars this entire tournament so far, and had no problem running straight into bigger, scarier weapons. So I knew it wasn't going to be an easy fight for me, and I was going to be running my weapon down really low so that I could last the full three minutes, since I was 99% sure I wasn't going to be killing Killy. Let's see how this fight went. One thing that I've noticed under all of my years of robot driving experience is that when I am fighting a relatively inexperienced driver, the tendency that a lot of inexperienced drivers have is a very stop, start, point and shoot kind of drive style where they don't necessarily do arcing turns while they're driving. They tend to stop, point, and go forward. So my goal was to play it Tokyo Drift style and basically always be moving in wider arcs so that they are just trying to turn to face me and not going after me. Division is an extremely hard to drive robot, however, not just because it's only two wheel drive, but because I have to fight gyroscopic forces of the weapon the whole time that I'm driving, which means it's easier said than done. Gotta save battery any chance that I can get, so turning off the weapon here was a move to do that. Get out! Get out! 
like I was saying before, as my weapon spins up, gyroscopic forces get worse, and I couldn't turn as fast as I expected and just went straight into the wall. This does let me see, however, that Killy's having a hard time with that floor seam. Yes, Finally got a good hit, but I wasn't able to keep him in the corner there, and he got away from me. Just like when I was fighting Ratfish, I can't do much front to front, so I really have to try and get to the sides in the back. You can see the driver of Killy's doing a great job here of always keeping his back pretty close to a wall so I can't really get behind him. Yes, get the side, yes! Get the side, get ah, so close. And of course making all these sweeping turns is hard so I inevitably make a mistake and he capitalizes. got a good hit right in the middle of the back and that's the most vulnerable part in an SSP kit. You can start seeing some smoke emitting from one of the vents on top of the bot where one of the drive motors is starting to overheat. It's possible I broke a magnet in the motor or something. Just managed to limp to the finish with my battery totally dead. So ultimately, the judges voted that Killy was the winner of that fight, and I was eliminated from the tournament. Though I can't really say it's a huge disappointment to lose to a bot that I also designed. At the end of the day, Killy did a great job of outdriving me, so I definitely think I deserve the loss there. Before I wrap this up, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay manufactured some of the chassis that I use in Division, and they have been a longtime supporter of this channel, making it possible for me to do all sorts of awesome projects and different PCB designs that I've used, including the ones that I actually use to power Division as well. This is one of the PCBs that I use to power Division in addition to the chassis that they've made for me. So definitely check out PCB Way at link in the description. You can get $5 off your first order and you'll be helping to support this channel and everything that I do. Let me know in the comments, what ideas do you have for the next version of Division? And no, I won't be making it not a vertical spinner and it will still have a big diameter vertical spinner. So we're not going to be getting rid of that aspect of the bot. But just let me know your thoughts as to what your improvements would be. One last thing, uh, if you want early access to all of the fight footage that I just got from Subtractions run at NHRL in September, that's already posted to my Patreon. You can visit that at the link in the description. And for $5 or more a month, you'll be able to see those videos right now. I've also gotten a chance to record with Ben from Team Panic at the most recent NHRL event, and we're going to have a collaborative video that we each post one half of to each other's channels. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss that when it comes out. If you like this video, click like while you're at it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.